Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss channel. Today we are going to discuss benign prostatic hyperplasia. Please watch this video till end to get complete understanding of benign prostatic hyperplasia. We shall discuss what is benign prostatic hyperplasia, causes, signs and symptoms, treatment, prevention, complication. Benign prostatic hyperplasia, also called prostate gland enlargement, is a common condition as men get older. An enlarged prostate gland can cause uncontrollable urinary symptoms such as blocking the flow of urine out of the bladder. It can also cause bladder, urinary tract, or kidney problems. Let's discuss the signs and the symptoms. Since the prostate gland surround the urethra, urethra is the tube that carries urine outside the body. It is easy to understand that enlargement of the prostate can lead to blockage of tube. Therefore, you may develop early symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia. Slowness or dribbling of your urinary stream, hesitancy or difficulty starting to urinate, frequent urination, need to get up at night to urinate, pain after ejaculation or while urinating, urine that looks or smells funny, frequent or urgent need to urinate, difficulty starting urination, weak urine stream or a stream that stops or starts, inability to completely empty the bladder. These are the symptoms of the benign prostatic hyperplasia. The prostate gland is a walnut shaped gland that is part of a male reproductive system. The main function of prostate is to make a fluid that goes into semen. Prostate fluid is essential for the man's fertility. Now let's see the causes. The causes of benign prostatic hyperplasia are not clear. It mainly occur in older men. Hormone changes are thought to play a role. Hormones from the testes may be the main factor. For example, as men age, the amount of active testosterone in the blood decline. Estrogen levels stay the same. Benign prostatic hyperplasia may occur when these hormone changes trigger prostate cell growth. Another theory is about the role of the hydroxy testosterone. This male hormone supports prostate development. Some studies show that older men have higher level of dihydroxy testosterone. Testosterone levels go down. How prostate hyperplasia is diagnosed? Urine lysis. Your urine is checked for pop, blood, or bacteria. Urodynamic test. Your bladder is filled with the liquid via a catheter to measure your bladder's pressure during urination. Prostate have a specific antigen test. This blood test checks for cancer of prostate gland. Cystoscopy. This is the examination. Examination of your urethra and bladder with a tiny lighted scope that inserted into your urethra. Urinary flow test. You urinate into a spectacle attached to the machine that measures the strength and amount of your urine flow. Test results help determine over time if your condition is getting better or worse. Post void residual volume test. This test measures whether you can empty your blood completely. 
The test can be done using ultrasound or by inserting a catheter into your bladder. After you urinate to measure how much urine is left into your bladder. 24 hour voyaging diary. Recording the frequency and amount of urine might be especially helpful if more than one third of your daily urinary output occurs at night. Treatment option for benign prostatic hyperplasia may include lifestyle changes, medication, minimally incisive procedure, surgery. A health can provider, a health care provider treats benign prostatic hyperplasia based on the severity of symptoms, how much the symptoms affect the man's daily life and the man's preferences. Men not men may not need treatment for mildly enlarged prostate unless their symptoms are bothersome and affecting their quality of life. In these cases, instead of treatment, a urologist may recommend regular checkups. If the benign prostatic hyperplasia symptoms become bothersome or present on health risk, a urologist most often recommend treatment. Lifestyle changes. A health care provider help may recommend lifestyle changes for men whose symptoms are mild or slightly bothersome. Lifestyle changes can include reducing intake of liquid, particularly before going out in public or before period of sleep, avoiding or reducing intake of caffeinated beverages and alcohol, avoiding or monitoring the use of medications such as antihistamines, antidepressants or diuretics, training the bladder to hold more urine for longer period, exercising pelvic floor muscles, preventing or treating constipation, medication, a health care provider or urologist may prescribe medication that stop the growth of or shrink the prostate or reduce the symptom associated with benign prostatic hyperplasia. Alpha blockers, phosphor diesterase 5 inhibitors. Let's discuss about the prevention. There is no sure way to prevent benign prostatic hyperplasia. Still loss, losing weight and eating a well-balanced diet, rich in fruits and vegetables, may help. Too much body fat may increase the hormone level and other factors in the blood and stimulate the growth of prostate cells. Staying active also helps control weight and hormone level. Men with risk factors for benign prosthetic hyperplasia should talk with the health care provider about any lower urinary tract symptoms and the need of regular prostate exams. Men can get early treatment and minimize benign prosthetic hyperplasia effect by recognizing lower urinary tract symptoms and identify an large prostate. Complication Urinary tract infections, urinary strong, kidney damage, bleeding in the urinary tract, a sudden inability to urinate, bladder damage. Dietary requirement for benign prostatic hyperplasia patient. Food to eat salmon, berries, onion and garlic, green leafy vegetables, tomatoes and other citrus food, nuts, sesame seeds, tofu and sofa, soy product. Food to white red meat, coffee, sodium, eggs and poultry, dairy, alcohol and spicy food.
Thank you.